Hey guys, welcome to English class for Monday. Today's an evaluation day, okay? Because your grammar page, I'm gonna help you through it, but I'm not gonna tell you any answers because it is your evaluation, one of your evaluations, and then tomorrow we finish it, okay? So you're gonna be doing your gra one grammar page today. I'll tell you what it is in a second. You're gonna do test three of Escritura. Listen carefully what you do for test three of Escritura because this is part of your evaluation. And some of you guys aren't paying attention to the instructions from test one and test two, and it's part of your evaluation. You need to write the word compassion four times in letra de carta, in cursive, like it is on the page. You need to write the word plenteous four times in letra de carta, um, just like it is on the page. And then you need to write the verse. You need to trace it, which means you need to write over these letters to practice it. And then you need to write it one, um, two times in cursive and two times in letra de molde. Okay, so two times like this and two times in normal letters. Part of your evaluation is whether or not you follow instructions, okay? Also, you're going to be doing two pages out of your packet. You're doing page 61, that looks like this, and page 65, which looks like this, okay? So the Escrito, do you know? Let's do the grammar, and then I'll explain to you how to do those other pages. Go to page 59, 59, 59 in your grammar book. Page 59 in your grammar book. Okay, here we go. Look what it says in Think A. Read the poem. Write N if the bold word is a noun. Write V if the bold word is a verb or part of a verb phrase. Okay, so look at number one. Once there was a little girl. The girl is more, um, the word is more black, right? It's bold. That's what's called, that's what bold is, okay, when it's thicker more graceful than the other one. So girl is the word that you need to identify. Is it a noun or a verb? I can't remind you what nouns and verbs are because I've already told you like a thousand times, okay? So girl, is it a noun or a verb? Number two, who would not go to bed? Go is the word, is it a noun or a verb? Three, each night she got a scolding. Is got a noun or a verb? And the rest of them you can do by yourself. Look at think B. Write the plural form of each singular noun. So you need to change it from singular, which is one, to plural, which is more than one. Okay, you have to follow the rules. Like for instance, if it ends in an F, you change it to V-E and add an S. Ch child is, um, has a regla. All of those have regla, so you gotta listen to, you gotta remember them and write how to spell them. Look at think C. Underline the correct verb in the parentheses twice. So remember, the wind and rain make or makes it difficult for the helicopter to land. Well, the wind and rain is they. It's more than one. Remember, it is I make, you make, he, she, and it makes, but we make and they make. So you have to decide that for each of them. And look at write D. Choose the correct kind of noun from the box and write a sentence. Okay? So look, it says write a declarative sentence using a plural noun. So look what you do. You have to invent a sentence, but using one of the words in the boxes. Number one says write a declarative sentence using a plural noun. Give me a plural noun from the box. Birthdays, summers, sisters, picas. Those are all plural nouns. So go ahead and follow the instructions. You're gonna get an evaluation. If you follow instructions, you'll get a good grade. If you don't follow instructions, you can't get a good note on it, okay? Now look at page 61 and 65. You get to plan a trip. Now this is gonna be fun. What's a trip in, Span in English, in Spanish? 
Yeah, hey. This will be fun, you guys. Look what it says. Today we are traveling to, look at this one. Today we are traveling to, what country do you want to go to? Think of one. Think of one. I'm going to pick, <sighs> where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? I've always wanted to go to Italy. I'm going to do Italy. Okay. I want to go to Italy. So we're going to say, today we are traveling to Italy. Okay. Here's your boarding pass. A boarding pass is the ticket that you need to get on the plane. Okay. Because we board the plane. So you have to fill out the information. You're the passenger name. You invent a flight number. That's your numero de vuelo. Okay. You're going from Roatan, Honduras to Italy. Okay. Date. What's today's date? Gate. You invent it. Gate E, gate A, gate D. It's always a um, letter. Seat. You pick your seat and the time you're leaving. Okay. The seat is your asiento. You just pick a number. Okay. Passport. You need a photo of you. So you don't really need a photo. Just draw a picture of you. Okay. You don't have to really put a photo. Passport number. Okay. You invent a number. Your name, your gender is your genero. Are you, a, listen carefully. If you're a girl, your gender is female. If you're a boy, your gender is male. Listen to how to write those down. Female, F-E-M-A-L-E. -E. That's for girls. Male is for boys. M-A-L-E. Your home country, where's your home country? What's the country that you live in? That's your home country. And your signature, your firma. So you write your name in letras de carta, in cursive, that's your firma, your signature. Then you're gonna write a paragraph telling why you're traveling to that country. So give me three renglones, three lines of why you want to go to the country that you picked, okay? Now you're going to create a checklist on how to pack and pack for your trip. It says create a packing checklist for your trip to Italy, right? Or to wherever you pick. You need to pick one. Your carry-on items. What are you going to bring on the plane? Like backpack, a book to read, a blanket to sleep if you get tired, okay? So tell me all the things that you're going to bring. But listen carefully, you cannot bring liquids. You can't bring liquids. So don't say fresco, but you can bring food, but no liquids on the plane. That's your carry-on items. So fill that, give me all of them. Give me all, all 10. Clothing, your ropa, what are you gonna bring? Are you bringing a bathing suit, your traje de baño? Are you bringing shoes, socks, shorts, all that stuff, okay? What are you bringing? And then miscellaneous, give me one, two, three, four, five, six, six other items that you need to bring. Miscellaneous means Anything else that you need to bring? Um, hairbrush, toothbrush, stuff like that. Soap, <laughs> okay? So tell me what you're gonna bring on the trip. And that's your English for today. Let me know if you have any questions. Do well, because it's your evaluation. Bye.